The second option we have for building our app is Cocoon.io. Cocoon has a free plan as well as some paid plans, but the free plan will be fine for what we're doing. Go ahead and go to Cocoon.io and sign up, and then sign in to your account. That should bring you to the home page, here. Earlier, we created two zip files, one containing the game and the config.xml, and the other with just the game and no config file. Just drag and drop the zip file without the config file to create project. After the zip file uploads, you can see our project here. Click on Hello Cocoon, and that takes us to the project page. Here, we can fill in all of the details that were in the config file into this form. The bundle ID is what we have here under ID in construct. com.todaystoots.ultimateAds Here, you can set the version number of your app. Then we can set the name, which defaults to Hello Cocoon. I'll change it to Ultimate Ads. You can choose the orientation you want, and in this case, it should be Landscape. Set Full Screen to Yes. Up here, we've got an option for Web View Engine. We've got three options, Web View, Web View Plus, and Canvas Plus. Web View is the default HTML5 Web View for mobile devices. WebView Plus is used for apps that need to access DOM elements or to create a more stable environment. This is often useful for apps, not necessarily for most games. The last option, Canvas Plus, is a custom WebView that usually provides the best performance for games. This can add a substantial performance boost to your games, so make sure to try Canvas Plus out and see if your game performs better with it or with the other two WebViews. If you exported your project from Construct 3, Canvas Plus can sometimes cause screen flickering. So in that case, you'll want to try one of the other two. I'm building this with my export from Construct 2, so I'm going to choose Canvas Plus. On the left, here, we have all the operating systems we can build for. Check Android. And make sure to save your changes. Next, click on the Plugins tab and then on Cocoon. Since we have AdMob ads in this game, we need to enable the AdMob Android plugin. Scroll down to AdMob Native Ads for Android. If you're building for iOS, you'd need to include the AdMob Native Ads for iOS plugin right here. I'll select AdMob for Android, and then click Install, and then save your changes. The last thing we need to do is select our key store to sign the app. We'll take a look at how to generate a key store file in the next video, but to do that we need a debug build of our game. We can compile a debug build here under Developer App. Just click Compile Developer App, and it will begin to compile. You can see its status up here, Android Dev App Compiling. It can take a while to compile, so I'll jump ahead to when it's finished. Okay, the icon stopped blinking, and it says Android Dev App Completed. If you click this icon, you can download a zip file that contains an x86 version and an ARM version of your app. Either of these can be used in the next video to generate your key store file. Once you have your key store, scroll down to Signing and select Android. Drop this down and choose Add a Key. Here, you need to enter a title for this key store. I just called mine Key Store and enter an alias, as well as a certificate and key store password, all three of which we'll create when we generate the key store in the next video. Finally, you'll need to select the actual key store file that we generate here and click Add to upload it. Once you've added your key store to Cocoon, you just need to select it from the dropdown. Once it's selected, we can build our project for release. Scroll up and click on the Compile button here. Again, the icon will begin flashing, and this time it says Android Compiling. We'll skip ahead, and once it's finished, the icon stops flashing, and it says Android Completed. Click on the icon, and you can download a zip file containing an x86 and an ARM version of your game. I'll drag the x86 version onto my emulator, 
and let it install. And our app works. With AdMob Ads in an Android app, built with Cocoon, using the Ultimate Ads plugin for Construct. Even though we generated ad IDs for AdMob, I'm still using test ads since this app isn't actually going live. But if I had turned off test mode, we would be getting live ads and could start making money. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to generate an Android Keystore file so that you can build your app and upload it to the Play Store.